Elon Musk is one of the most polarizing figures in modern history. His proponents consider the CEO of both Tesla and SpaceX to be a genius with future-proof ideas and brazen self-regard, but his detractors believe Musk is a narcissistic man with unjustified power. However you feel about Musk, one thing is clear, he is increasingly influential. While the rest of the stock market lost 35% of its value earlier this year, Tesla's stock surged, and Musk's net worth grew to an estimated $70.5 billion, surpassing Warren Buffett to become the seventh richest man on the planet. But in a bizarre turn of events, Musk decided to relinquish control of his numerous homes, claiming he wants to own no house. Today we're looking at Elon Musk's insane real estate collection. As of May 2020, Musk had listed five of his properties for sale for a combined value of $97.5 million. One is a five-bedroom ranch that is said to be the former home of Hollywood actor Gene Wilder. The 2,756-square-foot ranch comes with an oval pool and a separate guest cottage. Updated but carefully preserved, unique, quirky, and charming ranch-style former home of Gene Wilder slash Willy Wonka, the listing reads. Beautiful view property on this promontory overlooking the stream, and white sand traps of the 13th Green and 14th Fairway on the Bel Air Country Club golf course, with distant city views. The property includes an approximately 2,800-square-foot, five-bedroom, four-and-a-half-bath ranch home with oval pool and private guest cottage. In November 2013, Musk purchased the three-quarter-acre Bel Air home for $6.75 million. Musk has since turned the property into a private school for his children. Musk said that whoever buys the home should keep it how it is. Just one stipulation on sale. I own Gene Wilder's old house. It cannot be torn down or lose any of its soul, he tweeted. This house alone is worth $3.5 million. He sold another Los Angeles property for a whopping $29 million. The listing was unique, as it was for sale by owner, meaning the billionaire did not use an agent to sell the house. Musk bought the property for $17 million in 2012 from Mitchell Julis, co-founder of hedge fund Canyon Capital Advisors, according to the report. The new buyer is William Ding, real name Ding Lei, a Chinese billionaire businessman who is the founder and CEO of tech company NetEase. The company, which has its headquarters in Guangzhou, develops online and mobile games, e-commerce platforms, and email services in China. It was founded in 1997 by Ding Lei and has secured its spot as one of China's largest gaming companies. Forbes reports that Ding in 2003 was China's richest man, as well as the country's first internet and gambling billionaire. The home Musk sold is located in Lower Bel Air and overlooks the Bel Air Country Club. The 16,251-square-foot mansion features a two-story library, a swimming pool, and a tennis court. It also features a gym, a wine cellar, fruit orchard, and a five-car garage. The seven-bedroom, 11-bathroom home was originally built in 1990 and has been extensively remodeled. There are large entertaining spaces and high ceilings throughout. According to Musk's personal listing, the master suite has two bathrooms and oversized closets. There's also a theater and a two-room guest suite, as well as a 1,000-bottle wine cellar. Outside, there's a lighted tennis court, pool, and spa. The pool area is accompanied by an outdoor lounging station that is complete with two cozy beige-colored couches and a fire pit in the middle. The home is located in Lower Bel Air and overlooks the Bel Air Country Club. The area surrounding the Bel Air Estate is decorated with a walkway from the home that leads to a beautiful shrubbery and sits near a magnificently manicured lawn. The new homeowner of Musk's Bel Air home can walk through a pair of white French doors onto a balcony that overlooks the estate's illustrious landscape. In total, he has spent more than $100 million for seven properties since 2012, according to the Wall Street Journal. Musk bought two homes in 2015, a modest ranch house for $4.3 million and a $20 million mansion. A year later, Musk purchased a large, unfinished home for $24.25 million. All three homes sit on the cul-de-sac of five homes, and all four houses are of starkly different architectural styles. Nearly two weeks after listing the two Bel Air homes, Musk revealed that he listed five more of his California properties for sale, at a combined price of $97.5 million. Four of the Los Angeles homes were listed on Zillow as a multi-property listing, with an asking price of $62.5 million. He spent a total of $55 million on the properties. Since then, he's spent millions more building out and completing the big contemporary mansion atop the hill. Even in the unlikely event of a full-price $62.5 million offer, it's hard to imagine Musk will be turning much of a profit, even without the hefty typical real estate agent fees of 4 to 5%. The homes are described on Zillow as being a project for the big thinker, designed to showcase one of the best views in Los Angeles, from the city to the ocean and beyond. 
The fifth home, which is located in Hillsboro, California, has been listed for $35 million. Musk purchased the Hillsboro home in June 2017 for $23.3 million. The 16,000 square foot mansion sits on 47.4 acres of land and features 10 bedrooms and 10 baths. The mansion has a pool, ballroom, banquet dining room, and an eight car carport. Combined, the properties cover 7.1 non-contiguous acres and total more than 23,000 square feet of living space with 18 bedrooms and 19 full baths. And that doesn't include his other two Bel Air homes, which are available separately, one at $30 million, the other at $9.5 million. Zillow also noted that due to listing limitations, additional specs on each individual home, as well as insight on the project as a whole, will be made available upon request by qualified buyers. Thus, very little is known about the other properties, and interested buyers are forced to infer information from photos in the asking price. The announcement to sell his homes came amidst a tweet storm of Elon Musk's own design. He claimed that he wanted to own no possessions. Many people thought that this was a prank or that his account had been hacked, but he confirmed the news in the following days. They're kind of an attack vector, Musk said on a recent episode of Joe Rogan's podcast. Critics say, hey billionaire, you've got all this stuff. Well, now I don't have any stuff. Now what are you gonna do? He added, don't need the cash, devoting myself to Mars and Earth. Possessions just weigh you down. This was mere days after the Tesla CEO tweeted that the company's stock price was too high, leading to a 13% one-day dip in price, infuriating stockholders and amusing bystanders. Ruled illegal, the action led many investors to demand Musk's resignation. Of course, controversy is never far from Musk, and he has an unfortunate knack for saying highly quotable and completely offensive remarks. The listings and Musk's comments about selling his belongings come days after he slammed coronavirus stay-at-home orders in an expletive-laced statement during Tesla's quarterly earnings call. Health officials have said such orders, which forced Tesla to temporarily halt work at its Northern California manufacturing facility, are important to slowing the spread of the virus. Musk likened the restrictions to fascism and forcibly imprisoning people in their homes. It was just the latest in a months-long pattern of Musk sharing information and making comments about coronavirus, mostly on Twitter, that contradict public health guidance about the pandemic. This news was almost overshadowed by the birth of Musk's sixth child and first offspring with his partner Grimes. However, the most shocking thing about their relationship is not the 17-year age difference. Rather, it is the highly unconventional name for their firstborn child. When asked what the baby's name is, Musk replied with XAEA12 Musk. Well, thanks to California law prohibiting numerals and names, they had to change the name to XAEAZ. Social media lit up after this revelation, mostly with comical jabs at the name. One Twitter user pointed out that many people use their children's names for passwords. But in this case, Musk and Grimes named their child after their password. In an interview with Bloomberg about her art, Grimes casually mentioned that she and Musk call their son Baby X, which is surprisingly normal next to his full name. But love him or hate him, Musk rose from total obscurity in South Africa to become one of the most iconic business people in the world. Elon Musk was born on the 28th of June 1971 in Pretoria, South Africa, from the Canadian May Haldeman and the South African Errol Musk. Musk was fascinated by science fiction and computers in his adolescent years. When he was 12, he wrote the code for his own video game and actually sold it to a company. In his late teens, he immigrated to Canada in order to avoid the required military service for white males in South Africa. Thanks to his mother's Canadian ties, he was able to enroll at Queen's University in Kingston, one of Ontario's top schools. After graduating, he moved on to the University of Pennsylvania. During his time there, Musk and his roommate converted their college house into a nightclub so they could make money to pay rent. Musk had planned on a career in business, and he worked at a Canadian bank one summer as a college intern. This was his only real job before he became an internet entrepreneur. After he transferred to the University of Pennsylvania, he earned a bachelor's degree in economics and a second bachelor's in physics a year later. Musk was just 24 when he started his first company, Zip2, and he devoted all of his energies to seeing it succeed. He lived in the same rented office that served as his company's headquarters, sleeping on a futon couch and showering at the local YMCA, which was cheaper than renting an apartment, he explained in an interview with Roger Eaglin of the Sunday Times of London. Still, the company struggled to fulfill its contracts and meet the payroll and other costs, and he looked for outside financing. Eventually, a group of venture capitalists, investors who provide startup money to new businesses, financed Zip2 with $3.6 million, but he gave up majority control of the company in exchange. He went on to co-found PayPal with a group now known as the PayPal Mafia. Known for their entrepreneurial mindset and anti-establishment attitude, they have gone on to found or provide initial funding for companies like Airbnb and Yelp. One of them even serves as the US ambassador to Sweden. Musk took his capital from PayPal and founded both SpaceX and Tesla. 
The rest is history.